me Courtney and welcome to my channel. Hope everybody had wonderful holidays, a great start to the new year. I guess now we're in 20, 23, 4. I feel like I stopped counting years after 2019. Is it just me? Anywho, in today's video, we are going to be doing a look of sorts. I have a few new products that I wanted to try a makeup look that I wanted to do, maybe some chats that I wanted to have. <laughs> so if all of that sounds like fun, sounds interesting, then please continue to watch. All right, so as you guys can see, I have a new setup situation going. I feel like this is a little bit more comfortable for the room, comfortable for my like arrangement here with my computer and stuff. I can just go from here to editing and not have to do too much movement. How was your guys' holidays? <laughs> I know it's been a minute. Listen, I had so many plans last year of what I wanted to do with the channel and like slowly one by one those plans just kept getting overturned by something else. <laughs> I've learned to be a little bit more go with the flow. All that being said, I still have plans for this year on my channel as well. So hopefully things flow a little bit easier. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get into the makeup. Um, I think I'm going to start with the brows today and usually I don't show you guys the brows but I've been doing some different things with my brows. I've been doing a little bit more um, My Face But Better makeup. Most of the time I like full coverage over the top. I realize that for my face I, I still love a block brow on me. <laughs> Um, I just kind of tone it down and blend it a little bit more these days. So I'm gonna start here and sort of fill in right in this section. I don't really have much hair right here, but I just feel like starting like starkly right here just looks weird on my face. So I'm sort of creating some um, shade down here. I'm gonna bring it up where it naturally arches. I don't have to do much in this section right here when it comes to grooming my brow because that's like the natural arch of it all. So I just follow that. Here is where I want the top of my arch to be. I'm calling everything an arch, you guys get what I'm saying. <laughs> but I'm basically gonna fill in this section from here to here that doesn't have any hair. And like I said, I've been sort of grooming my brows to go into the direction that I want them. I've sort of cut them where they need to go, so I'm just gonna kind of follow that. Then I'm gonna brush it to sort of create that shading and to make it more of a shadow than the actual like stark, dark black brow. Then I'm gonna take my brow pen and literally stroke where I need it to be stroked, like little brow stroke. Stroke where I need it to be stroked. That sounds crazy. So I'm gonna just do little brow strokes in the directions that I want them. Fill in a little bit more, especially in the front for me. Brush it through, fade it out again. Before I kind of clean this up a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side so I can clean them up at the same time. I kind of like to go up here at this angle and kind of cut it off a little bit so it's almost like a shorter brow versus it going all the way down. It's just more like a square brow with a little tip. In the meantime, I'm gonna take my Fenty Eye Primer. I'm running out of this. I've been like riding it till the wheels fall off. This is about to be like completely empty, it's crazy. But this is like a stickier formula, which means everything that I put with it kind of grips it so nicely and it really makes colors pop. Oh, I'm stingy with my love. Ooh, baby. Unique. All right, so the palette that we're going to be using today. This is the Pat McGrath. I think this is the 10. Is this the 10? It is. Moonlight Seduction. Technically, this one isn't the most recent palette because she came out with the Star Wars collab. I've already played with it a little bit, which is why I kind of got the inspo from the look that I'm doing today. I always say this about Pat McGrath shadows. You do not get the full spectrum of what these shades do on any camera. <laughs> 
a lot of times on her Instagram or her TikToks or whatever, they do really dim light so you can see exactly what the sparkle does, but it's very rarely ever caught. Like when I do this, all these colors look mute and blend, but when you're looking at them and when they go on the eye, it is something so special. I'm actually gonna start with this one. And I'm gonna put that into and above my crease. Now you do wanna keep in mind anytime you're doing like heavy shadows, wherever you place your brush first is probably gonna have the most pigment, which is why I'm placing it here the most. Next, I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm gonna use that to sort of blend out the edges of the first shade we put down. Make it a little bit less skin color faded. I want it to be a little bit more purple faded. Know what I mean? I'm gonna take a wipe and just sort of create that wing shape that I want. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on this intersection right here. Kind of blend that in. And I'm gonna do that a little bit on the outside right here as well. Not really going past that little line we just created, but just so I can get a little bit of shadow on the lid to blend into the shimmer. Now I'm gonna take my NYX glitter glue. You could also use setting spray on your brush. I find that that for me doesn't always work and kind of messes up the look sometimes, but the glitter glue never fails me. So I'm gonna take that and put that on the center where I want my shimmer to go. I'm gonna wipe my finger off so I can actually tap into this beautiful shade. It is a mixture of vel velvet, <laughs> a little bit. It's a mixture of green, silver, purple, lavender, there's pink. And I'm really only doing this because I uh, don't have nails. <laughs> if I had nails, this would be a different story. But since I don't, we're tapping in with the finger and I'm placing that where we put the glitter glue. If you end up going into this shade, it's gonna be a little bit more silver purple, like silver lavender when you turn your head. If you go into this one, it's gonna bring out a little bit more rosy pink. I want rosy pink. So we're gonna go rosy pink in the middle. And then I take my brushes and then just blend in the colors. I'm actually gonna go ahead and create a little wing. I'm gonna try not to interfere with that center as much. I'm gonna actually use my Anastasia Beverly Hills one because this is a little bit of a thicker formula. If I go in with like my Fenty or something like that, the glitter's more likely to go off on the liner, which will kind of make everything bleed together a little bit. And I want it to be very contrasted, if you will. So I'm gonna go in with this one. Feel like that's about as even as we gonna get them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the face on. I'm gonna use the All Nighter Face Primer from Urban Decay. This is more, again, like a sticky base. You won't break my soul, I'm telling everybody. I'm not one of those people that like listens to whatever's out or popular at the time. It took me a minute to even like, I don't know, like J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Everybody, when they were originally talking about that Beyonce album, I was like, eh, whatever. And then I start hearing it everywhere and I was like, all right, let me see what this is about. And it's a really good album. And that's, I'm not like a, uh, what do you call it, part of the beehive by any means. But she makes good music every now and then and I don't actually like the Renaissance album. I'm here for what it stands for. Now that we're sticky faced. Could've used better language right there. All right, so I think I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I did a review on this one last year. It's one of the reviews that I actually got to. This brush is stiff. <laughs> I feel like I'm beating the crap out of my face. Oh my God, yeah, no, no to the brush, no to the brush, that hurts. <laughs> Spongy sponge. I'm still a fan of this foundation, I'm not gonna lie to you. So pretty. How was y'all's holidays? I hope everybody got like rest. I don't know, there's something about the holidays and then the New Year's that make people so, either you're like ready to like go get them come January or you're like drained <laughs> from last year. I know personally I haven't been so like, let's attack the year. Like I'm very much like, give me a second. Not that the years have been bad to me at all. I've been actually really, really blessed, but just it gets tiring sometimes adulting and parenting and living life and you get drained, you know? It took me a second. It's like jet lag, people lag, energy lag, just lagging. 
I'm just now getting to a place of being able to like get back to myself and doing the things that I like and working out and eating better and doing my makeup a little bit more and all of the things. And even with this like office situation, I feel like part of this was even almost like a spring early spring cleaning kind of situation like just and sometimes when you can't necessarily change maybe the job situation or the home life situation just switch up a room <laughs> switch up your background you'll start feeling a little bit better i am going to be trying the house labs bio blurring loose setting powder i'm going to be using this as my setting powder under the eye i have used it before and I'm not mad at it. I just kind of want to show you guys what that looks like and see what you guys think. Um, again, it has like that perforated, perf, perforated, perforated edge. So you know if it's been tampered with. I almost didn't buy this powder specifically because you don't get a lot. Although the packaging is cute, it doesn't feel heavy or weighted. So the amount that you get feels like I feel duped. <laughs> they do this little net situation and it's not like the Huda Beauty net where you can kind of shake it and kind of get more product if you need more. It's very limiting. Know what I mean? So on one hand, I appreciate that because we're not wasting a lot of powder, but on the other hand, what if I have a heavy needed makeup day and I need all the powder? I need all the smoke. I mean, can you take this off? Is it able? There has to be, a... no, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep messing with that. If I keep trying to take this off and it flies everywhere, I'm gonna be pissed. Today, I'm just gonna try to dab in with my brush and set it that way and see if it helps. And then I'll go in and fine tune in the crevices with this one. So that's with the Lady Gaga powder. What is this called? <laughs> Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder. And I feel like it looks nice and smoothing. Can be used alone on clean skin to blur to set makeup so you can set it all over the face, which I would need a darker color for, which they do have, I believe, like five or six shades. And um, I got the shade Golden because I wanted to use it for my under eye, of course. And it says, or to brighten targeted areas of the face. It's not really saying that it's supposed to be an under eye setting powder. I like the way that it looks under my eye. It does definitely brighten for sure. So maybe that's low key why they don't want you to use a lot because it's not meant to be like a heavy setting powder under the eye. But I feel like it blurs so beautifully. So just make it that. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Merit foundation stick. This is in sepia which by the way i did pick up the merit beauty foundation stick to do all over the face i am going to do a review of that because i told you guys i would yeah so i'm gonna sculpt and this is like that little elf putty bronzer thing the way that these two work together and just moves your product where you want it to go is such a beautiful thing but now i'm gonna go in with my power sculpt velvet bronzer this one is another one from house labs i don't know if i ever told y'all about this but it's a good one. The color that I got was deep level nine. It's a little bit more of a red golden than I'm used to, but it is one of those um, bronzers that build up. I'm gonna go a little heavy with it since I don't have a tan anymore. <laughs> Why didn't y'all tell me I didn't blend that out? I like to do this one just to make that bottom lip pop a little more. All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Saharan Blush Volume 2. I'm gonna use this color B because it's a little bit more purple lavender since that kind of goes with what's on the eyes. I gotta finish the eyes. All right, so before I use the new highlighter, also from Lady Gaga, this is the House Labs Bio Radiant Gel Power Highlighter. This is in the color Fire Opal. I have been waiting to get my hands on this one. It doesn't necessarily match with the vibe of today, but look at, the, well, maybe it does. It has that pink, but peach, but gold. This is a highlighter. <laughs> look at that. And it's not quite an actual putty highlighter, although it is super duper soft. That does not match today's vibe, but we're using it though. <laughs> All right, so before I put my highlighter on, I'm actually gonna go ahead and finish the look. I think I'm gonna just go in with this shade. You know what, before we do that, I am gonna use that shade, but I think I wanna do black eyeliner. All right, I am gonna line the waterline. I'm also gonna try to get into this little situation right here. A lot of times my eyes will start watering and then this is the first place that my makeup comes up, especially if it's that liquid liner. 
any liquid liner really so i'm just gonna kind of reinforce it with this pencil as well like i said i'm gonna take that one shade that purpley shade and go all the way under with it and when i get to that inner corner i'm not gonna go back and forth in the inner corner like that i'm gonna kind of sweep it this way if i try to go back and forth in that inner corner i'm gonna start creating like weird divots so i'm just literally grab and sweep that makes sense so the color gets placed there without creating like any pockets. At least for my eyes, I know that would happen. All right, so I'm gonna go back into that NYX glitter glue. I'm gonna tap some off. And then I'm gonna use like a thin brush, something that can get right under that eyeliner in the center. Cause I almost wanna kind of mimic that halo situation that we did on the top of the eye. And then I'm going to tap into the same shade that we did up here. I'm gonna tap that over the glitter glue. Now my palette's all dirty, but yes, that is the Mothership 10. Look uh, out for more videos with that palette because I actually had a few looks in mind. A little bit more natural sparkle, elongated liners, all that kind of stuff with that palette, but I really wanted to do this one. This is so pretty. <sighs> mm. All right, let me finish up. Highlighter. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a little blush where my highlighter would go, and then we're gonna go Glaze it on top. I'm not even gonna lie, Lady Gaga and her house lab situation is coming out with bangers. Bangers. I'm gonna take a, I know it looks like it has product on it cause it's dirty, but I'm just gonna take a clean brush, no extra product and blend everything together. I'm gonna go in with this combo that I've been doing. This is the one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray, right? This is almost like the Huda Beauty resting boss face where it melts everything really nicely into the skin. I don't know that it necessarily completely dries down mattify if that makes sense. Like it's not, it doesn't leave my skin dry is what I'm trying to say. It does have a slight tightening effect more so than the resting uh, boss face. So I'm gonna do this one first. Right, it's like okay, everything's settled in and gorgeous. Now I'm gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is a little bit more of a glowy setting spray, which I'm gonna add now. And then I'm gonna do one more layer of this one, but it's gonna be like a light one. All right, so look at that. Everything's set, everything's in place, nothing's moving, nothing's tacky, everything is sitting. The Charlotte Silvery one can make my eyes water sometimes and in turn kind of mess up my um, liner depending on which liner I'm wearing so do be mindful. This one has such a light spray. This one also has a little bit of a almost like watermelon scent but it is the faintest. Scent. It actually smells really good, really distant scent. I love them together and I can't remember if I, I think I was at Sephora when somebody told me to use that as a combo. It makes my skin look delicious. And I don't have highlighter up here yet, it looks like I do. It's just glowy and beautiful but it's also like set and not sticky, like I love it. I have another new product. <laughs> Sorry if my energy's a little low, I'm just chill today. Honestly, just a little chill. Still goofy though. Always goofy. Never not goofy. Even in the glam. That's gonna be my new phrase. Never not goofy, even in the glam. This is a new Can't Stop Staring. Lengthening and lifting mascara. From Give Beauty, also known as Gwen Stefani's beauty brand. Love the black and white. I actually am here for this. Without the ball on top, it kind of reminds me of my Essence Lash Princess. And then the ball on top can get in between those little sections in there, like the little inner corners. Very genius, I like it. And I'm gonna try to see if I can show y'all the difference. Cause it actually does lift and y'all know I have barely their lashes. I don't know if y'all can see that. So no mascara and then mascara. Y'all can't see that in this camera. I'm not close enough. Whatever, it's a big difference. <laughs> Y'all know how I said I was gonna stop spending all that money on mascara. I did for a while, I really did. I was buying like Essence mascaras, which I really only like the Lash Princess one. And then she came out with hers, which also made me look back at the more expensive mascaras. So now I'm back to buying mascaras. 
for 20 and 30 dollars also from give beauty now i did get two of these um this is the i'm still here lightweight long wear matte lipstick i tried this one in the original recipe color that bright yummy delicious red and so now i got it in a tomboy which is this pink is there peach in there there's a little bit of rosy pink to it which is what we're going to be wearing today the lady that helped me at sephora said that it would look really good with the gloss on top so we're going to try that and then i also got the color camo which is this one. Ooh, do i want to do that one i'm actually going to mix a little bit okay so first i'm going to go in tomboy which is that deeper rosy pink and then I'm gonna take the camo in the middle. All right, so I'm gonna go in with bronze sugar. All right, guys, this is the final look. What do you guys think? I really love it. I really love this palette. I love all the new products that I got. I'm actually really interested in House Labs and whatever else they tend to create because I really like their face products. So good, <laughs> chef's kiss if you will. But yeah, I've loved everything from Give Beauty that I've gotten as well. I do wanna try out their actual lip glosses. I was a little bit fearful of them just because they're on the lighter side. A little bit more pinky and again, you guys know I don't really delve into these kind of lips, but I'm kind of vibing with it right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back and try some of her lip glosses as well. Per usual, all of the products that are on my face will be in the description box below if you are curious. That about does it for me guys hopefully this video was helpful fun to watch entertaining all that great stuff maybe even a little bit inspiring if so please give me a thumbs up but be sure to like comment and subscribe share the video if it's in your spirit if the mood so suits your spirit if you will and i'll see you guys in the next one bye what did i say with my new phrase always goofy goofy go i don't know i already forgot that's so sad that is so sad what did i say it, it was always goofy never the never the bride <laughs> bye y'all <laughs>